his name. Good guy. Good guy. Well, if it works for you, it'll work for me. I catch him, and then he downs the rest of it. By the way, Matt, I know it's a crazy thing, but uh, you know, you have berries. I hear berries can heal things. <sighs> Not implying anything, but I'm sure that your berries. What? Okay. Could now, better. how you lads get in touch with Lillian? Indeed, dirty wizard. How did we get into contact with Lillian? Yeah, why don't you tell us? Tell like, him the story. How, how did we get in contact with Lily? <laughs> Well, Lillian or this guy? Lillian. Lillian, bro. Uh, He's asking how the two of you met. Well, uh, tactically, I don't remember it, so I can't say anything to that. I, I've been there. No, no trouble with no, that, dude, however. I, Mr. Dwarfman, I literally don't remember anything. No, trust me. Like I said before, I remember, however... You just do right by her. No. I've been with her family's house for a long time. Then you must also have a sexually transmitted disease. I? Wait. What are you be talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I was her family servant for a very long time. Yes. Right. Yes. When, when he said... He had been with her family for a very long time. Did you take that to be? I, I thought it was some with all of fucking them? bondage party. <laughs> I thought it was some fucking kinky ass dwarf shit they were getting into. I don't know. Deep dark fantasy. <laughs> That's what immediately what your mind goes to. Deep dark <laughs> fantasy. Fuck you guys, I'm just gonna keep looking at this cosplay, Brent. You can fuck yourself. Alright. Well, I don't know what you have with Lillian, however. Just make sure you treat her right. She's been through a lot. Both her and I. <clears throat> This is we the will. part where sure. you ask. Is this, is this the part God where we damn, fall down and bleed to death? Alright, um. Now, well, I'm, a sh I'm certain you guys know of Night Hill. Unfortunately, we do. Well, I was there when they took Lillian's house over. What can you tell me about that incident, my friend? Well, the Night Tales had a good amount of economic pressure over the entire area. And they squeezed Lillian's family dry. Eventually, it came to a point where they had Lillian married into the Night Hill clan. And I had to watch her go. I served her ever since she was a young lass. I call her Miss, but she doesn't like it anymore. I lost my job, and then I ran, became a mercenary, did whatever odd jobs I could, but then I found her again, thanks to you three. Dirty old man. The dirty old man is currently stupefied by your touching story, dwarf. <laughs> Clearly, he shows his condolences. I, this accent. Oh my god. <coughs> Don't kill your throat, Mike. Uh. No. What I suggest is, I we do have 
a tavern nearby. Yes. I agree. Okay. Sounds good. But before we go to the tavern, um... Do you think it'd be a good idea to check up on old Lillian and her sister? Should we leave it be? No. I've taught her. She'll be fine. But I... I just think it's a case of exhaustion. I've checked on her too. Okay. She just needs a good rest. And... I don't know why the cultist took her, but... Night Hill's up to something. The reason he wants those eggs. Well, he is a cockmongler. Anyway! What's, what's your name, dwarf? I forget your name. I'm sorry. We just met. It's on Tharf Room. And also... I tell you, Scully. <sighs> after that drink you gave me, I think I should give you a gift. How about a good arm wrestle? Oh, dude, bro! Let's <laughs> fucking do it! Alright. He sits down, puts one of the shabbily... Basically... Makes a really crappy thing with logs and... You're gonna have an arm wrestle. Alright, strength check. Let's do it! Yeah, 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 boy! Uh, nigga, you got a fucking loot! Oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me see that. <laughs> no, I keep that back. No. Oh, wait. Right. Did yeah, you? No. God damn yeah, it. I rolled the perfect speed. God speech. damn it. <laughs> Okay, um, one for All right. Well, Matt, how much snow again? Please don't die. Amazing. You take own. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. This is unimportant because I was just gonna talk about it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you take own Thar's hand. You look him square in the eye, and immediately, on the count of one, two, three. You just beat his hand down, and you almost hear a crack. Oh, fuck! Jesus and then Christ. he states, Shit. he looks at you and gives out a huge bawling laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, laddie! Oh my! Didn't expect you to be so hearty. Ah, I'm to gonna so feel that in the morning. Ah. All right, I can respect that. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best impression. This is Sounds fuck. like you're fucking the ass. Fuck. Fuck. Keep going. I'm good. Good. <laughs> Should I like give up the impression <laughs> or? <laughs> All right. Um. Helmet. I'm going to feel oh, that oh, my asshole tomorrow. That is going to be good. <laughs> All right. What the fuck oh, is no that? Oh, no, Nick. You're fucking groovy. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Burning, while you're having this intimate relationship with, um, Sir Onthar, you can see a silver gauntlet grasping a sword by the blade. It's a pendant on his neck, and you can see it poking through his beard. Okay. Alright, I'll take your hand. I'm going to be nosed and mention that I happen to notice his sexy little locket. Okay, you don't even have to roll for that. Um, t -t 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 what you can tell, this is a pendant that represents the Order of the Gauntlet. 
The Order of the Gauntlet emphasizes faith, vigilance, constant struggle against threats of evil. I and see. they fight for the equality of all races. Cool. Cool. I'm alright with that. And... Basically, what you know is the Order is distinctly structured and very disciplined, which yeah, seems quite interesting given um, Sir Anthar's uh, demeanor. Indeed, indeed. But I'm alright with this guy, I like it. Channel, Phil Monty, CYK8 Boy. Okie dokie, well, not sure about you boyos, but I think we are good and should proceed to the next day, don't you agree? Let's do it. Let's keep fucking going, bro. Alright, if you have nothing more, then you see Lillian finally coming over to you as she puts her sister into one of the bedrolls and states... It was just exhaustion, however, I don't know what they did to her. She'll be fine though, just need some rest. Now, we're we gonna begin with phase two. Is the council ready? Oh shit. <laughs> trying to... Fuck yes, is, is everyone ready? Who's the council? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. Matthew? Um, are there any wolves nearby for me to fuck? <laughs> Alright, um, then we're gonna... <sighs> well... If she can make the journey to Erultel, I suppose we'll make it out in the morning. Indeed. Anyone want to do a knowledge check? Yes, a certain Perhaps. dirty old man. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> what is it, a knowledge specifically for what? The city of El Torel. Milf? El Torel! Shut <laughs> down! Why did I hear milf from that? What is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know, you've been fucking droves, you've been doing various other I, shit. I. I. I try. Um, mm. Alright, what is this? Uh. Ba, 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. What do we got? What'd you say? Wisdom? Yeah, um, wisdom. Wisdom, really? Oh, sh I will do wisdom. If there is a yeah, there's wisdom there. check to be done. I will be doing. Nice swear me, mother. Thank wow, that's, God, that's not bad. Thank God. God damn. As high as it can get without us having to take it. <laughs> From what you know, um, Ilterel is a very orderly city overlooking the river Kianthar. It's filled with merchants primarily. Ooh. There are many river traders, farmers, and markets on the outskirts of the city. And however, the most distinguishing feature of this city is that there is a bright light above it. And it appears to quell any um, undead from entering the city. They are burned by it. So it's like Straddle? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Are we going to face undead punks? Ooh. Seems so my crit rate has increased by 5 million suddenly. Hmm. How difficult should our journey be on the way over there? Well, yeah. We shouldn't have much issue. However, 
Green Hills troops. Trust me. I have, I, I have agents with, uh... The Harpers. And the Harpers are... The Harpers have been infiltrating Green Hills activities after their invasion. And trust me, he's on to you now. Hmm. But, my lady, er. Miss. I will protect you. Once we arrive at the outskirts of Irotel, we have a safe room. Mm. Are there going to be hordes of monsters and zombies and possibly spitters and tanks along the way there? I mean, I'm good against all, but if there's a smoker in the group, we're pretty fucked. Just an FYI. There are some beasts, but after the Third Crusade, all of the undead have mainly been deceased. Channel. Oh. Link to YouTube well, to mainly, we'll however, things do occur. Good. Good. I look forward to our journey. Okay, I'm good. You guys good? I'm always... Dude, I'm just looking up Gachamuchi right now. That's a yes. Okay, let's go. Alright, so, um... This is just gonna be, uh... Imagination time? Let's fuck it up. I mean... Yeah, I totally did not expect... ...you guys to get this far. To get a fucking tour. Or, like, no, get out of the fucking... A lot slower. Well, if it would better suit you, Maxwell, do you just want to call it? No, nah, well, if you guys want to keep going, sure, but otherwise. What'd you guys feel like? Well, I kind of feel like just dicking around for a while. I mean, I'll keep playing if you guys this, want to, but. This is what I think. I think, because we've done this before where we've gone on past what Maxwell has anticipated. No, I. Well. Let me go on for about 30 more minutes, because I have that okay. planned. Alright. Alright, that's Yeah, fun. that's good. That's... I'm good for another half an hour. Okay. I'm just going to keep shit posting gay porn. That's... But when am I not? The one watching right. it, don't worry. Yeah, fair enough. I'll, I'll be here. Yeah. I'll be here for you, buddy. That's what I do. This so... As you're heading down the road, you see... Uh, five horses tied up to various trees around a clearing, which Sir Anthar leads you to. And he states, Hey, a gift from Greenhill. We took him about two days ago, ambushed one of their patrols. Each of you gets one. And so now you're on horseback. Nice. And also I you have a fucking Steve horse. Charlie. Do any of us have a name? I. Do you want to give him a name? Yes. Do you guys want to give your horse's name? Do you guys have any like experience with horsemanship or anything? Hell no. I have zero. Okay. Am I riding like a little Shetland pony since I'm a dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I was gonna say, if we have like experience riding horses, maybe we could do some sick shit, but it doesn't seem like any of us have any experience. Channel, link to YouTube.com. I will. Even if you aren't good at it, the light of Ultra God should guide us. Now let's get going, and in the very distance you can see this very shining, like, it's almost blinding light 
over a series of buildings. And I'm guessing you're going towards it. Right? It. Yes, but of course. Alright. Well, after a ways down the road towards this light, you see Alentar. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not prepared for this part whatsoever. So. Okay. <laughs> That's okay too. Alright, so I have a. Th We're just on horseback.